I don't know how it does what it does, but my key is just throw it, throw it for strikes early and then try to get them to chase. I mean, it's that easy. I like I my mindsets when I throw it is throw it for a strike and then once I get you know ahead in the count, I just try to expand with it and get them to start chasing. How impressive was that your mic? Oh, that was amazing. I mean, that was definitely probably the the turning point of the game or, you know, like one of the biggest moments in the game. Um, you know, he bailed me out big time. He came in, bases loaded, no outs, facing the heart of the order. And um, he's really fun to watch pitch, honestly, because he kind of has that attitude of, you know, here it is, you know, come hit it. And he obviously has a super elite fastball, and um, he attacks guys. And, you know, I, I think as a pitcher, that's what you have to do. You have to go right at him. He's not scared. Is it like watching a stretch for Morrell? And just, you know, have you ever seen a guy on a stretch this high? No, I mean, has anybody? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's, I don't really know what else you can say about Morrell. I mean, it's, I think I said it in Minnesota, he's just electric. And right now he's seeing the ball. And, you know, we're, we're excited to have him in the lineup every day and watch him do his thing. How was your mindset to start the seventh? How long was that on the page? Um, same as it always is. I just want to go out and be aggressive in the strike zone, kind of attack hitters, um, and just give our offense a chance to, to get going and get kid hits. And they did that real early today. And when, when you score runs pretty early, like it, it just – I think it really helps the whole team chemistry and also just pitching. Like it, it allows me to to be more comfortable, just just going at guys, you know, being aggressive in the strike zone and, and letting them hit it. Because um, you have that cushion, you know, you don't have to be perfect. And so the offense jumping on on them early today was huge and and just kind of set the tone really for the game to going forward. Since that first start. I don't know if I did anything different, you know, my first start versus these last nine. Um, baseball's a crazy game, you know. Sometimes you can make the perfect pitch and it goes for a hit or a homer, and sometimes you can make a really bad pitch and it's a pop-up or an out. You just kind of have to ride it, ride the wave. Um, you know, when you're rolling, you just want to put your head down and keep doing what you're doing and work in between starts. And when it's going bad, you also just have to remember – you know, like it could turn at any moment. You know, you're not you're not that bad when you have bad games. You know, like just just you have to stay confident and trust your ability to pitch. And I think it starts with throwing strikes. I think I've done a really good job this year, just throwing strikes and getting ahead in counts. Um, for me, that's that's kind of like where my mindset is is always at is is try to get strike two, and then you could start trying to expand and make them chase it. But before like Early in the count, you gotta go at him and be in the strike zone.